I love memes. I live for memes. You know how they tell you that if something's not working, just turn it on and off again? And I also kind of made the news. Hey guys, it is Monday, March, whoa, no, that's not March anymore. It is Monday, April 2nd, which reminds me I have to change my calendar. And I did vlog last week, but I was so sick. Um, so I didn't get any footage for Thursday or Friday. So I decided to just scrap it. Nothing really exciting went on. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I am sick. I got so sick last week, like Sunday night. I started feeling like a little bit, you know, under the weather. And then it just hit me so bad. So I had a runny nose and then I started coughing and my throat was hurting. I didn't have a fever, but it was just bad. And I feel like just now I'm starting to get better. So... Um, I'm happy about that. Also, last week I had super dry skin on my face. Right now, it's not so dry, but it was kind of gross, so I'm kind of glad I'm getting rid of that footage now that I think about it. So I am in my classroom. I am in the process of putting up these curtains because last week we had a lockdown, like a real lockdown. Um, it was after school, so no kids were here, but we still had to, you know, follow uh, lockdown procedures and I'm supposed to close my windows at the time I didn't have curtains I had blinds that I pulled all, all the way up and I've never had like the easiest time putting those up um, So literally the first one I was gonna close I pulled on the string and I didn't even pull them that hard and they just fell off the wall snapped in two so I figured you know what I can't have this happen again especially not during a real lockdown especially not with my kids here so I went ahead and purchased some blinds um which I which I had intended to put up at the beginning of the school year so if you have been following me since the very beginning of the school year or like when I was setting up my classroom in July you saw that I went to Mexico to buy a ton of white fabric because I wanted white curtains and I still have it. It's actually still in my closet or like that little storage thing. But I think it's a little bit too see-through. I don't know. Um, so I decided to just not even try it. And again, with that, I would have to like sew or glue or something like that. So I decided to just go ahead and bite the bullet, buy these at Walmart. Um, they were not as expensive, but they were still pretty pricey. I think I ended up spending like about $60, $70 because I had to buy the rods, which thinking now, considering how I'm putting them, I didn't really need rods. I could have just um, gotten like a wooden stick or something like that, but it's fine. I think this will be more durable. I did go ahead and test them like in, I did go ahead and go outside and looked in to see if they were see-through and they are not. Um, so that's, that's good. Um, so I just have one more um, current to put up, so I'm gonna do that right now. Alright, currents are up. Hello, it is Tuesday afternoon. It is 3.42, so it's been a while. I tutor on Tuesdays after school, so I tutor until 2.20, and then contract hours are up at 2.45. So I was busy with that, and then I was also at a meeting after that. So I'm just barely getting to my classroom so I can do stuff. So I went ahead and just put the chairs on the top of the tables, um, and then I tried to like semi-organize some supplies that came in for me. I also got some glue sticks, some and I also got some glue sticks and some paint and some cardstock so I don't feel like organizing it today I think I'll do that tomorrow when I have more time but yeah I'm still trying to get used to having the curtains up honestly I'm not a big fan of having them up I feel like it's I don't know I don't know I like the better without the curtains but I know it's safer this way so I'm okay with it today we did something a little bit different I think in one of my past vlogs I had mentioned that I was starting to use seesaw as a way to kind of track how my students are doing with centers um, and specifically the read to self center because obviously if I'm meeting with a group in the back I can't really know for sure if that group of students working on read to self are actually reading to themselves so what I ended up doing is I downloaded the, C the seesaw app and originally I was having um, 
kids partner up and they would record each other reading however I changed that today and I think I like this a lot better so now they each get a tablet so only two people at a time can be at that center they each get a tablet and they put it on selfie mode and then they go ahead and record themselves um, I do have actually they're all the way over there so I'll just get them some other time but I have some headphones that have the little microphone I have one pair because I had bought them last summer because I was planning on applying for VIP kid but I never did so I had bought them for that and I kept them here so then I'm gonna try to purchase another one or have like a cheaper alternative to have another set so that way when kids are reading to themselves I can actually hear them on the video it didn't work out so well because the student that was reading wasn't reading loud enough because that student was kind of far away from the camera but this way it doesn't matter how far they are as long as they have the headphone with the microphone and I can hear them which is perfect I also went ahead and made that live to parents so now they have access to their kids journal or portfolio um, and so far the responses have been pretty positive. We also use that today for journals, so I'm, not sure, so I'm gonna have that for journals too. So I put a few tablets, I think I put four, in the front so as kids are finishing up. Instead of coming to me and reading it to me, um, I went ahead and had them I went ahead and had them take a picture of their journal. And once you take a picture, it gives you the option to explain it. So they went ahead and clicked on the microphone button and recorded themselves reading it and then added it to their journal. So I'm really, really liking this whole like digital portfolio thing. Um, I do wish I had more tablets, so I did went ahead and purchased another one. Um, I have Kindle Fires, so Kindle Fires are really not that expensive. They're about 50 bucks. And like I mentioned before in my other vlog, since it is an Amazon uh, product, you can do a payment plan with that. So I just went ahead and purchased one more um, just for the meantime. And I'm doing like a payment plan. So uh, $10 a month for five months, which is not terrible. I also applied for a grant for new teachers that's given through my district. Um, and I think it's only like $100, but I can buy two of them with $100. So I'm hoping that I get it. And if I do, then I'll go ahead and purchase two more Kindles. That way I have more. And then we can do even more stuff with Seesaw. I'm really liking Seesaw. Um, I know that you can communicate with parents on there too, but I prefer Dojo for that because behavior is tied to Dojo, not so much for Seesaw, I think. Um, and you can post stories and stuff like that. So I prefer Doja for communication, but Seesaw just for parents that wanna see what their kids are working on. Hello, so it is Thursday afternoon. I didn't vlog yesterday, which I should have because it was kind of like an exciting day, but I forgot. So yesterday was Wednesday. We didn't have any meetings after school. So I just got caught up on some copies and that was pretty much it. And then right after contract hours, actually not right after, but like around three, um, I met up with some friends because at four it was a red for ed like not March it was just like a rally almost so we were sending on a very busy like intersection and just holding signs and stuff like that and it was really really fun I feel I feel like we got a lot of positive feedback from the community and I also kind of made the news very very briefly though I made four signs because I had some friends coming along with me and I didn't want them to worry about making a sign so all my signs were memes because if you know me in real life then you know that I love memes I live for memes so of course mine were memes um, if and if you follow me on Instagram then you and if you follow me on Instagram then you saw the sign that I was holding it was a mocking Spongebob meme which a lot of people didn't get <laughs> only people that like really like memes got so I had to like explain it quite a bit when I was holding the sign the news people were there so like a news anchor and a cameraman so the cameraman asked me like hey can I see your sign and I'm like yeah sure so he <laughs> he saw it and he was just looking at it for a really long time and just didn't say anything and that was that it was super awkward then he moved on to my friend's sign that said like my second job paid for the sign and then he's like oh haha ha, that's funny but yeah i guess no one really got my sign so that was yesterday i ended up leaving at around 5 30 but i met friends for food after because i was starving and i just stayed with them for about like four hours i ended up getting home at 10 and then i went to sleep and now i'm super tired and hungry if you look at my tables right now they are white. I put white butcher paper because tomorrow is a very exciting day. Tomorrow we are having our Q and U wedding. Uh, this is a week that we're learning about the letter U. It's the last letter we're learning about, which seems crazy. So we're having a Q and U wedding that I'm really excited about. The kids are really excited about. And I have to go home and um, 
just why is it so exposed there we go so i have to get home and start getting some things ready i also have to make a quick step at dollar tree and um yeah today was a good day i am loving absolutely loving seesaw i think it's so fun the kids love it too because it's like a new the kids love it too because they love showing off their work and now they can show off their work to parents which is really fun and then parents can leave comments and the kids get really excited when the parent leaves a comment on their journal on their journal so it's it's been so cool the only like drawback i have right now is that yesterday when i came in my kindles were not connecting to the wi-fi um it just said that the wi-fi network that we're supposed to connect to was out of range um, which was kind of annoying, so I put in for a ticket and they got fixed right away So all they had to do was just reset the Wi-Fi in my pod this morning. I came in and it was also um, Not connecting again saying that it was out of range So then I went to the teacher next door. I asked her if her Kindles were working I took one of mine and her Kindles were working and my Kindles were, were working in her classroom so She said that she used to be in this classroom and internet would sometimes be very spotty here, which breaks my heart because I love using all this technology and it's gonna just be a little bit harder so then I had to put a new ticket in and ask them to reset it again and um, they did and whoever I talked to said that just the connectors I guess or receptors I have no idea are kind of old so that's that's why that happened so I'm hoping that tomorrow that won't be a thing I think I'll just turn off my Kindles and hope that if I turn them on in the morning, it'll be okay. I don't know if that even makes sense, but you know how they tell you that if something's not working, just turn it on and off again, or off and on again? Um, I'm gonna try that. Also, when it comes to Seesaw, I wanted one more like computer or tablet available for the reading center because my new Kindle's not delivered until today. So I have my computer and I wanted to know if I could record for seesaw off of my computer and you can you definitely can but it took so long to upload that video onto that person's profile it was a six minute video and it took literally an hour and a half when it when the kindle and with the kindles it takes like two minutes so if it's a really long video i'm gonna go ahead and do some things in the computer and then i'm gonna head home because again i need to stop at dollar tree Hey guys so I am out of the classroom obviously it's been a weird day I don't know I'm just not in the best mood as you can probably tell and it's not and it's nothing about how my kids behaved or what went in the classroom it's just things about the whole like teaching profession that have been making me feel a little bit discouraged I understand now why teachers feel so undervalued, so not respected, and um, yeah, that really put, like, and that really brought my mood down today, which, which really sucked because today was a really exciting day in my classroom, so I'll just talk about it, and hopefully that will get me in a good mood. Um, so today was a Q&U wedding, it was the last letter we learned about, and we learned about the Q&U are always together, so that's why we had a Q&U wedding. Everybody in the class had a role to play in their little wedding ceremonies so i had so of course i had a q bride and a u groom i had someone officiating the wedding i had um a flower boy and a flower girl i also had um four different people to carry gifts and open gifts for q and u and the gifts were just like literally like gift boxes from dollar tree that look very fancy <laughs> for kids anyway and inside was just pictures of things to start with Q, so a quarter, a queen, a quilt, and um, a question mark. So that's what was inside there. And then I also had four people help me like build a cake, which I'll be putting footage of everything on here um, and how it was. And then I had two people give like a toast or a speech and something like, or something like that. Then I had, I'm trying to think what else I had. And they had like two other people helping out with 
like the rest of the snacks. So it was really, really cool. It turned out super, super cute. I ended up like filming it so I can show the parents and I think it's gonna be so cute. I think they're gonna love it. Um, so it was it was really fun. It was definitely it is something I would definitely want to um, do again next year. And um, yeah, so it was fun. <sighs> I'm gonna go home. It's 4:30. I've literally done nothing. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to edit things and then head to the gym. But yeah, even though I am not in the greatest mood, I wanted to come on here and just give a little quick update and then sign off. So I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.